Well hello there YouTube, we are back on another first ride review, the Honda Hornet 750. This is another competitor for the next bike. Um, pricing on this is uh, very competitive, PCP diesel in fact are coming in around £89 a month which is pennies really for a bike like this. Might not be the best looking bike in grey, I quite like it in grey though. It is uh, it's quite a nice comfortable position to be in. Yeah, I leant slightly forward on the bars, but nothing too bad. It's that nice and upright. It is a very light bike though. I'm not sure of the weight of it, but you can tell it's a really nimble bike. Sounds fruity as well. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got a nice grunt to it. I think we're coming in around 90. 90 horsepower on this. <laughs> and it does shift when you pin that throttle open. It's lovely. <laughs> With it being a naked bike, obviously, there's not much weather protection on it, but yeah, you, you expect that from a naked bike, don't you? We're going to go and do some uh, motorway riding down there, see how bad it is on the motorway. I'm guessing it's not going to be too bad comparing it to the Duke anyway. That was fine. This is reminding me a lot of the Duke's riding position actually. This one isn't fitted with the optional quick shifter which a bit disappointed about but that clutch is extremely light. Gear shifts are very nice, very crisp and sharp. You wind that open and <laughs> you'll get past anything on this. <laughs> yeah, I keep saying this about every bike I ride, but I think this might be the next one. <laughs> pillion seat is a lot bigger, I'm looking at the street triple as well. But the pillion seat on that is uh, terrible. This one is quite a wide pillion seat on it, I'll show you on the walk around. Looks like it'd be a lot better for the odd trip when uh, somebody comes for a mooch with me. I like the screen on this as well, nice and adjustable, we've just picked our settings, you can go through all the settings fairly easily, pick everything, average fuel consumption, choose three, four different backgrounds of the screen as well, good, mode button, go through your rider modes, rain, user, sport, standard, ambulance, Over these bumpy roads, it's not handling too badly on the suspension. It's not. It's not not bad at all. Quite a comfortable ride. I am six foot tall, with a 32 inch leg. My knees are in a yeah slightly swept back in a bit of a cramp position. I don't know how long. I reckon you could get a couple of hours riding on it before it comes uncomfortable. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think there'd be any discomfort in this. Uh, how, how the pillion would fare, I don't know how cramped that will be. But I think, I've, well, I, I, I don't think, I know I've seen lowering pegs already for pillion, so that is something that you could also do. There is a touring pack and everything with this, so... <laughs> it should be comfortable enough for long rides. Filtering, obviously, it's a small, tiny little naked bike. You're going to get through anything, any traffic, and you're away. Oh, lights. Yeah, this is a very nice, light, fast bike, this. Reminds me a lot of the Duke, only you've not got the reliability issues the Duke could give you. So I think this one has trumped it in the naked. I don't like how there's no adjustability in the clutch lever but there is in the brake. Yes, very nice. Let's have a look, see, keep that to the right, flick through, display, display type. And then press it back again and we're back on. Yeah, nice and easy to use. I have read reports of um, a the throttle being a bit snatchy at low speeds, I suppose it does feel like an on-off switch, but it depends how you ride it. I've not 
felt it being snatchy at low speeds at all. Let's do a roll on from third gear, nobody behind us, 20 mile an hour, 50, 18, go. Oh. Chugged a bit, but he's soon up to speed, not a problem. It's a very nice engine this. What's going on? Oh, they're getting pulled over. Oh, spot checks. That's not what you want to see. Yeah, what we're doing now, 30 mile an hour, fourth gear. There's no jerkiness in the throttle. We're only just ticking over on the engine, it's fine. Wind on, open it up. And you're away. <laughs> this is a very nice bike. Thank you, sir. Straight up to speed, no problem. Yeah, wind blast is naked bike, very clean air, a lot better than the Tracer and the Tenere was. It just is so much cleaner being on a naked bike. Six gear, 60 mile an hour, just ticking over, no stress or strain on the engine at all. It's nice and comfortable, roll on, soon picks up. Yeah, I don't think you need a big bike, I really don't, <laughs> especially not police down here as well especially not with how comfortable it is on a motorway on a naked bike yeah if you're doing stupid speeds I suppose it would get a bit uncomfortable after a couple of hours but doing normal motorway speeds you'd be fine I don't like that wagon up my ass no oh. and a Twarek So motorways, as you've seen, are not a problem. Yeah, sad here at motorway speeds now. Yeah, you can feel the wind on you, but it's nothing bad at all. A lot less buffety on a naked bike than it is on a, a bike with fairings, definitely. I'd rather be sat on this anyway. This leans over on corners, very stable. Very stable in the corners, I like it. Can't go too hard, this bike does only have 40 miles on it, 46 miles I think he said. And while we're on that, I need to give a shout out to Brad Honda at Manchester, Honda Motorcycles in Manchester. Good lad in there, he's uh, helped me out quite a bit, give me a lot of information. Cracking lad, good showroom. Loads of bikes in there, new and used, if you're in the area, go in. Have a look round for yourself. Let's get off this motorway and we'll get off to go and have a walk around somewhere show you the bike and continue on the test ride come on there it is it's a very fun light fast bike this i like it a lot it reminds me exactly of the duke 790 and i think just because of the reliability definitely does does come out on top this one yeah, the looks of it, the 790 Duke, I think that is one of the best looking bikes out there. So this is never going to win any competitions. In grey, it looks better, but still not the best looking bike, but I could definitely live with it, especially for the way it rides. We've been on this now, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes. No discomfort at all in the knees anywhere, actually. So it's a very comfortable bike for somebody that's six foot tall, 32 inch leg don't feel cramped your legs just feel like they're in a comfortable sporty position yeah you could definitely do some miles on this wonder how jerky it is when we put it into sport no nah, not bad oh yeah there we go wait well, you're at low speeds in third gear it doesn't like that yeah, it is a bit more on off the throttle there in sport mode. Yeah, so you are better off with standard unless you're really gunning it. Where's standard gone? I wish I had that quick shifter to try out, but this gearbox feels very nice.
Oh, brakes work fine. And he's not even turning. Thank you, friend. Mop it. <laughs> Pick up in third gear. I really like that. <laughs> it's a nice gear to be in third, actually. Seems to be riding that quite a bit this hour on this test ride. Seems to be the perfect little sweet spot for it. Look at that, just round them bends then. Oh, this thing flies when you want it to. Yeah, quick shifter on this would be brilliant. Self cancelling indicators, we haven't tried them, let's see how long they take to go off. Well, they're off, that's not too bad then, forget about them. It's quite a nice thing to have. But muscle memory, you just end up cancelling them on your own anyway, don't you? Or I do, you very rarely leave them on. Yeah, fully flat footing it, obviously. Room to stand up and stretch your legs when you're at the right slights. Lovely. Yeah, mirrors, you... What we're looking at? Got a bit of my elbows in there, nothing major, you can see clearly behind you, no vibrations, I've not noticed any on the motorway speeds either, so mirrors are doing a good enough job there. Whether they look the best, I don't know, I'd probably go for some bar end mirrors on it. Look a bit clunky on this, I think, them. Back brake, yeah, more than good enough. Oh, there's that jerkiness in the throttle in it. <laughs> I love the way this thing picks up. <laughs> I do, I like it. Very comfortable bike and these back winding roads like this are not the smoothest of roads. But this is perfect arse down there, we don't want to be flying past that. In fact, we'll pull up here actually, have a walk around the bike, nice and quiet. Where are we going? Get past here, spin it round. How are, how are we for you? Is it's a small little naked bike, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, fuck that one. Yeah, it's tiny. Neutral. Easy enough to find that. Side stand's good and easy to find. So the Hornet in all its glory. Definitely prefer it in grey. But it's... it's like, I think it's that front headlight that does it. The rest of the bike looks alright. It's very nice. Should we have a listen to the exhaust? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Definitely, definitely want to consider this. Yeah. Very nice, that pillion seat there. Quite large, a lot larger than the Street Triple, which is probably about the size of my finger. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite a good looking bike really, and it, it, well in my opinion it is in grey, it's just, I think it's just that front headlight that uh, isn't the best, but it shouldn't put you off buying it, so, so th this price point I don't think there's much competing with this, in terms of power and reliability, handling, comfort, yeah, it's. It is just an all round package, especially when you throw in that quick shifter. I think he said it was 270 quid fitted. You can't, uh, cannot grumble at that price. And that about sums up the review. A cheap bike, but definitely not cheaply built. Everything feels nice on it. Switch gear's good. Everything, I just, it is. 
you got oodles of power, looks okay. <laughs> oodles and oodles of power. Light, nimble, touring capabilities. It comes with a touring pack, big enough seat for a pillion. You just, you, you can't ask for any more in a bike for £89 a month on a PCP deal. What is that? It's next to nothing. Yeah, brilliant bike, definitely. And if you like that review, stay tuned for the next one because there is still more to be done on this bike hunt so if you like that review don't forget to hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again on the next one peace out